Hi, you're listening to Neil, and welcome to this look at the slicing tools that are part of CAD Buddy for Modo. In this screencast, I'll show you how we can use some edge selections to guide a uh, tool that essentially slices um, our geometry. In this case, I have some simple polyline outlines of windows, and we're going to use those to uh, cut the um, geometry of the flat that you can see in the image. OK, if you take a look at the right hand side of the screen, you can see we have our user interface. I've actually collapsed down some of the other tools so that we can focus just on the options for the slicing. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is select the um, layer with the polylines and I'm just going to lazy select all the edges. We can do this because the uh, slice tool essentially eliminates any duplicates. So even though we've got four um, edges at the same height here, um, the slice tool will only actually create one cut into the geometry. So now I just simply select the geometry and in this case I'm going to choose the CAD slice horizontal and you can see that's sliced uh, all the way through the mesh for us and it's left a um, selection which is just the vertical edges. At this stage we could run the CAD slice vertical option and now that's sliced those edges as well into the geometry. In this case we've got the undesired effect that we've actually sliced all the way through the building. OK, so I'm just going to undo that. In addition to the normal slice, we've also got projection slice and it's ideal in this situation. What we can do is choose a face uh, polygon here and then just tell the script how far from that face we wish to cut into the mesh. So you can see on the right hand side I've set a value of 1 meter and if we run the projection slice now you see we've only cut the front faced wall and not affected any of the internal or rear facing walls of the building. And you can see how um, CAD slice can very effectively use um, polyline data um, or indeed any edge selection to then uh, cut another mesh. OK, in the next part we'll take a look at how to use projection slice on angled walls. Let's take a look at another way we can use the projection slice tool. Here I have the outlines of two windows selected and we essentially want to cut these into this uh, wall segment we have here. These two windows are actually of the same size, it's just because they have been projected onto a 2D space that the one on the left has become truncated. Now if we use the normal tools, if you look on the um, right side of the screen here, I'll use the uh, CAD slice horizontal first and we'll just cut in two horizontal lines. I'll just change the colour so you can see that a bit better. And now we want to cut in the vertical edges. Now if I just use the normal uh, CAD slice vertical tool, you can see that essentially cuts in the edges and it's fine for this straight segment of wall, but when we've got to the angle, you clearly see that we haven't cut through in the correct direction. Projection slice essentially enables us to uh, uh, select a face and then use that to drive the angle that the uh, slice is made through the wall. So in this case I'm going to first select the two vertical edges on this side and use the normal CAD slice vertical. Now I'm going to select a polygon here and the two edges for the window which is going to be sliced at an angle through that wall. Uh, and now I'm going to use the projection slice mode. Now we've got two possible uh, directions it could slice in at the moment. It could slice directly towards that window or also sideways on. So we need to tell it which direction we're going to cut. So we're just going to indicate we're going to cut down Z and we make the cut. And you can see that now we've cut correctly uh, through that wall. And now you can see uh, both those windows are in fact of the same size. So the projection slice not only enables you to specify the uh, depth of cut, it also um, allows you to specify the angle of cut through a wall and this is especially useful when you've got uh, angled walls and a set of polylines that you can use to cut them. Okay, that's it for this one.